From the stunning Cornish coast, DP Engineering handles an incredible mix of components and machinery. And one software has helped power it all for over two decades. That software is Mastercam. Yeah, so the company's grown exponentially, it really has, but the machines and stuff that we've invested in, we, we've invested in so much, and Mastercam's really helped support that. So the machines have increased in complexity and the amount of spindles, the amount of axis, that sort of thing, and the new Mastercam, as it's progressed, has just got better and better and has allowed us to support those machines and fully program for them. DP Engineering really specialise in oil and gas and aerospace are kind of like our main sectors. We do dabble in a couple of other things and we've done some little bits for just some little bits for the hydraulic sector, I think some small bits for automotive, but primarily that's what we do. Um, our specialism is really in the not so much the complex but the difficult. So we work with some really interesting materials. Um, a lot of what we do is relatively similar, but it's in very ex high-end exotics, monels, ink canals, things like that. Things that are very difficult to machine, and that's the majority of what we do, especially turning-wise. So with a very complex component, Mastercam allows you to take a drawing, uh, create a model from that drawing, but instead of forcing you to program from the geometry of the model, it allows you to um, either spin a wireframe from it or project a wireframe. You can then use that wireframe to then program from. So other CAM softwares are quite limited in that they force you to try and program off a model that you've generated and that can mean you may have issues with something like chamfer depths or hole depths. Now you can project what you want, the outline of something, and then almost edit that to suit what you actually want to use to generate the geometry. And you can also do things like adding lines. So if you had a turn profile, you can add a lead in, a lead out using the wireframe instead of having to try and force the toolpath to do what you want, which is quite handy. When you're adding new machine technology and going from, say, a three-axis machine to a full five-axis machine, how do you know when you get it back on your shop floor, you will be able to run it? Yes, yeah, so we're looking to have quite a wide range of machines. So we've got things like fairly basic three-axis mills, two-axis lathes, all the way up to fully featured nine-axis um, Swiss machines or something like the Muratech, um, which is a gantry-fed lathe with a lot of different capabilities in there. So Mastercam's got the capability to work with uh, multi-channel machines, like say, like Muratex or the Swiss, or the Nakamura tomes, which are like a twin spindle, triple turret setup. So it's got the capability to output the data, the, the different data streams in order to work with these machines properly. And the simultaneous five axis stuff, um, it works really, really well for as well. I think the main advantage with Mastercam at the start was its ability to do pretty much everything. You could do the turn, you could do the milling in one package. The reason I think we stayed with it is the constant development. You know, the addition of these more complex machining strategies to suit the newer machines. So you've got, um, you know, stuff like uh, the, the mill turn strategies. You know, originally it was a very basic milling operation. Now they ported all the complex operations from the mills, the built-in thread milling cycles, the opti roughing and they've moved it all over the lathe, so they're kind of moving with the machines as they grow and as the amount of axes increase and complexity increases as well. Some machines will work with a generic post, others need a bit more tinkering. So how are Mastercam helping DP Engineering make all their machines run right first time? I'll be honest, recently Mastercam really seemed to have stepped it up. Look, we seem to have got far better responses recently from them, they're actively helping us develop our posts. There are less issues with the software than there are the posts, but the posts are very much a um, something that is developed over time, especially when you have new machines. You, you know, some of the machines we have in here, like Muratex, they're not common in the UK, and they're not very common in the Europe. So not many people have access to the posts and the actual machine models. So it's taken a little while to get that off the ground, but, machine, but to be fair to the Mastercam, be very supportive in actually developing these posts and getting us running on these quite complex machines. Going forward, for DP Engineering and Mastercam will be the integration of every machine on the shop floor in Mastercam. At the moment we are using another piece of software as well, but slowly as Mastercam is able to support all the different machines, we'll be able to move everything completely onto Mastercam, which will allow us to not have people so silo, people will be able to be a little bit more interchangeable between different machines, different sections, and it'll allow us just a lot more flexibility going forward. So at DP we're constantly investing in new new things, whether it be machines, whether it be software, whether it be things for verification, we're always trying to push to ensure we are where, where we need to be at the top of the game. So, so the main reason for that is just the increasing complexity of all, all, all the machines, so we're having to 
ensure that we stay with a piece of software that does actually move with all the de developments on the machines and the customer requirements. But the driving force really is the complexity of all the new machines and the need to use more complicated, more efficient toolpaths to actually produce better parts quicker.